What's up everyone and welcome to the ultimate Fortnite chapter 6 season 1 optimization guide. In today's video I'm going to be showing how I boosted my FPS from 300 to 600 and I'm going to be showing you the best Fortnite settings, the best game user settings file and the best tweaks. But before we start this video make sure to open your browser and type in discord.gg slash rip tweaks. Join the discord server then go to the free tweaks channel and download the free tweaks as that's what we're going to be using to boost the FPS, lower stutters, FPS drops, input lag, ping and much much more. In your search bar type in create our store point. Basically this one will pop up click on create and name your restore point whatever you want click create and then wait for it to finish in the epic games launcher find fortnite and click on the three dots click on options and uncheck high resolution textures click your windows and r button and this will pop up just type in percent local app data percent find the fortnite game folder go to saved config windows client and you have to find this file here now open the free pack that we downloaded and in there there's the same exact file what you want to do is drag it over to the fortnite game folder and click on replace the file in the destination you're good to go you can just close out everything and start fortnite now in the fortnite settings make sure that your rendering mode is on performance mode and on the lower graphical fidelity please make sure to check that now you can set the three resolution to anything that you want i always set it to 85 as it's for me the best balance between the quality and the performance in the game and it really doesn't matter now what you can also do is change rendering mode to DirectX 11 as it's really similar to performance mode and it also gives you way more options for customization now in the DirectX 11 mode what you want to do is look for a setting called Nvidia reflex low latency make sure to set it to on plus boost to get the lowest input delay and what you also want to do is if you have the option to go and select Nvidia DLS set it to performance to get the most fps now what you want to do is open the free pack just right click and run as adam and i'm going to be speaking over everything while i'm doing the tweak so basically what you want to do is click any button on your keyboard that it says before any option for example as you can see intel amd nvidia i click number three on my keyboard to tweak nvidia you can do that for your own graphics card for the any options that you want for example remove input delay optimize keyboard optimize mouse just click the options on your mouse now everything is safe to do as we've made a restore point so what you were left to do with is just wait for all the options to complete these tweaks that the blow tweaks are really dangerous and can delete some files because it deletes a lot of windows bullshit so please take it with caution now next step that you want to do is open up your tax manager and see how much ram you have basically just match that to the ram section i have 32 gigs of ram so i'm gonna click on 32 now what you can do is go into the game section and select fortnite and that's about it now next what you can do is go into your windows settings and enable game mode this can give you an fps boost basically it's the same for the hardware accelerator gpu scheduling now another setting that you should do is basically disable all background apps don't let them run in the background as this will slow your pc down now you can go to the windows security and actually go into the device security and disable the memory integrity option as it may give you an fps boost now another thing that you can do is go into the startup settings basically in the task manager and disable everything that you have on your startup as this can lower your performance now what you can do is go and search advanced system settings go into performance and select adjust for best performance now if your windows looks ugly after that just enable smooth edges and show window contents while dragging to make it beautiful again and that's about it guys thank you for watching this video if it helped you out leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Bye.